Hi, welcome to the final session on divisibility rules. In the previous three sessions, in the in the previous three sessions, we have learned a divisor. If the divisor is of the format two power x or five power x or ten power x, in the second session we have learned whenever the divisors are three, nine, eleven. In the last session we have learned the divisor seven, thirteen, thirty-seven. In all those three sessions, we have learned how to find the, the remainders whenever the divisors of two power x or five power x, ten power x, or these three, nine, eleven, seven, thirteen, thirty-seven. And also, it's not about how to find the remainder; it's about what is the remainder. Now, this is the final session. In this final session, I'm going to cover the divisors which are of the format ten power x minus one and ten power x plus one. This is the final session. After this session, you can solve a worksheet for all these divisors. Once you have finished the worksheet, you can directly go go through the original CAT questions, which are given in nineteen ninety, which are given from nineteen ninety to two thousand fourteen. That is the last twenty five years of CAT. If you want the worksheets, you just visit the Facebook page of Kish CAT classes. and yeah let's see what happens and how not what happens how to solve whenever the divisors are of the format 10 power x minus 1 and 10 power x plus 1 let's see what is this 10 power x minus 1 let's say if x equal to 1 then this nothing but 10 power of minus 1 that is 9 if x equal to 2 that's going to be 10 square minus 1 that is 99 if x equal to 3 that's going to be 10 cube minus 1 that is 999 Okay, we know that how to solve if it is nine. So whenever that divisor is nine, we just need to add every single digit of the number to find. So what happens if it is ninety-nine? Should we add every digit or should we add some of the digits? Let's find after some time. Let's first see what is this number, other number that is like ten power x plus one format. That is. If x equal to one, then that is going to be ten power one plus one. That is going to be eleven. X equal to two. That is going to be ten square plus one. That is going to be one not one. X equal to three. That is going to be ten cube plus one. That is going to be one thousand one. So it means these numbers are like nine ninety nine nine ninety nine nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine and so on. This is going to be eleven one zero one one double zero one one triple zero one and so on. So these are the divisors, which are of the format 10 power x minus 1 or 10 power x plus 1. Now we have a number n that is I've taken as p q r s. There's nothing but p triple zero plus q double zero plus r zero plus s. There's nothing but p into thousand plus q into hundred plus r into ten plus s into one. There's nothing but p into ten cube. Plus q into ten square plus r into ten power zero ten power one plus s into ten power zero. Now let's see if you want to divide by ninety nine. We know it for nine, and we have done it for eleven also. And divide by ninety nine. What we need to do? I explained you clearly in my previous video. That is, whenever we are trying to solve, whenever we are trying to find the remainder for the divisor seven, thirteen, and thirty seven. Now we'll apply the same thing. What we need to do is, whenever you come across a divisor, take this ten. This is nothing but the base of a number. If it is a base nine, we just need to consider base nine. Now here it is ten. What do you need to do is like ten power zero divided by ninety nine. The remainder is plus one. Ten power one by divided by ninety nine. The remainder is ten. Ten square divided by ninety nine. The remainder is plus one. Now whenever You got the reminders as one and one, irrespective of the sign associated with the number. One and one, stop there. Then check the powers. Now powers are zero and two here. It means the difference between the powers is two. So that is two minus zero. That is two. Now since now what you can do now is take this number P Q R S. 
divide this number into club of 2 to the club 2 is the difference between the powers. Now the club 2 you need to start from unit term that is club that's it you have done it. Now what you can do is now check the signs associated with reminders. Now signs here both the signs are plus and plus so it means that this is going to be plus. This is going to be plus. Of course this is nothing but PQ00 plus RS this is nothing but PQ into 100 which is 10 square plus RS into 1 which is RS into 10 power 0. Now 10 power 0 reminder is plus 1. So RS reminder depends on RS. So RS into plus 1 is RS by 99 plus 10 square by 99 remainder is plus 1. So PQ by 99 remainder depends on PQ. So that's going to be PQ by 99. That is nothing but PQ plus RS by 99. That's it. We have come across a new divisor. What we need to do is like quite simple thing. Take 10 power 0, power 1, power 2, power 4 and so on until you find that the remainder is 1 and 1. Obviously for first 10 power 0 the remainder is plus 1. You just need to find. Now the fundamental like doubt you get here is how long should, should we approach? How long should we go? Should we take 10 square 10 power 5, 10 power 8? No, no, no. You need not. In any competitive examination, including the world's most sought after or the most difficult examination in CAT, examination like CAT also, we never ever come across a number where we just go ahead like 10 power 5, 10, 10 power 6. It's just limited 10 square, 10 power 10 cube, that's it. We don't get actually. That is not possible. Look, people who have attended the coaching classes or people or the mentors who know all these things, they, they explain it to the students. What happens if the students started the preparation on their own? CAD is all about 10th class level mathematics and the application part. So we don't have a much deeper or very difficult questions asked in CAD school level. So that is why you cannot expect any any kind of question. You just need to expect a very simple ones. Now, what happens if it is n by 999? Same thing. Why don't you do on your own? If you ask me, then it's like n, n divided by 999. Quite simple. 10 power 0 by 999. That's always plus 1. 10 power 1 by 999. That's going to be 10. 10 square by 999. That's going to be 10. 100. 10 cube by 999. So that's going to be plus 1. So we now we got 0 and 0. Now the difference between the powers. How much? That's quite simple. That is 3 minus 0, that is 3. Now the club size is 3. Club of 3, 3. Once you divide the given number, let's say the given number is PQR STU, then club size of 3, 3, that's it. Now check the signs. For both the reminders, the signs are plus. So it's plus and plus. So that is STU plus PQR by 999. A simple one. Let's check the next one. N divided by the format is now 10 power x plus 1. Now for x, we have done it x, x equal to 1. That is going to be 10 power 1 plus 1. That is going to be 11. So we have already done it in the previous sessions x equal to 2 that's going to be 10 square plus 1 that's going to be 101. What you need to do is quite simple. You just need to take 10, 10 power 0 by 101, the remainder is plus 1, 10 power 1 by 101, obviously the remainder is 1, uh, the remainder is 10. Now the next one, 10 square by 101 that is 100 by 101 that is minus 1. How can you get negative, negative remainder is quite simple. Whenever let's say 7 by 7 remainder is 0, 8 by 7 remainder is 1, 9 by 7 remainder is 2, 10 by 7 remainder if we say that it's 3, then 6 by 7 remainder we can say 6 and then minus 1 because it sits in a proper order 0, 1, 2, 3 so it could be minus 1. The previous one 5 by 7 is going to be minus 2 in fact it is 5, 4 by 7 the remainder is minus 3 in fact it is 4, 3 by 7 remainder is minus 4 in fact it is 3. Whenever you come across a negative remainder then let's say minus 1 plus then add the divisor to get the original remainder. So here 
it's minus 1 plus divided by 7 so that's why we get 6 this always this this what you can do now what happens is like uh, it's a uh, 10 power 0 the remainder we got is plus 1 10 square we got the remainder is minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 now the difference between the powers that is 2 minus 0 powers difference that's 2 minus 0 that's 2 now the club size is 2 so let's say we have got a number like pqrs T U V W. Now let's take only a four digit number. P Q R S. So starting from unit club, unit digit, just divide them into club of two two. Now the first club, now the sign is very important. Now this one is nothing but P Q R S that is into 10 power 0, this into 10 square. That is why we can say that P Q R S. P Q into 10 square plus RS into 10 power 0 is nothing but PQRS. Now 10 power 0, it's plus 1, that is why the sign is going to be plus. 10 square, it's minus 1, that is going to be minus. So that is minus PQ plus RS divided by 1, not 1. That's a very easy. Now, in place of uh, uh, 2, if x equal to 3, then the whole thing will change to 1001. Now for 1001 also, you need to do the same process for every number 10 power 0 divided by the divisor 1001 the remainder is going to be plus 1 10 power 1 10 square 10 cube 10 power 4 and go ahead in fact 10 cube will give you remainder minus 1 since 10 power 0 gives plus 1 remainder so the difference between the powers is 3 now the club size is 3 signs associated with the remainders is plus and minus so alternative is plus and minus plus and minus so that is like let's say if we have got PQR, S T U V W X. Let's say what do we need to do? Club of three three. So when n divided by thousand and one because this is ten q plus one. So since this is nothing but ten power x plus one, so the club size would be three. It's very easy. Club of three three. That's it. Now this club will take plus. This is minus. This is plus. V W X plus P Q R minus stu divided by 1001 that's very very simple so i've written here if the divisor is 10 power x minus 1 what you need to do is reminder depends on some of the clusters of n it's quite simple now you just need to define the cluster size i've taken n equal to a b c d e f g h i j k l that's cluster is 12 that is not cluster the number of digits are 12 and if x equal to 2 the cluster size is going to be 2 and we just need to add that's it if cluster is 3 then we need to divide the number into club of 3 3 starting from unit term let's move and see 10 power x plus 1 this is the same way the remainder depends on the difference of the sum of the alternate clusters and some of the remaining alternate clusters so you just need to define the cluster size in fact, the easiest thing is, it's quite simple. If it is 1, x equal to 1, cluster size would be 1. If x equal to 2, cluster size would be 2. If x equal to 3, cluster size would be 3. If x equal to 10, cluster size would be 10. And the one advantage is, first cluster, that is unit cluster will take plus sign. The immediate cluster will take minus 1. The next one will take plus 1. So alternatively, starting from the unit cluster, Everything will take plus, the remaining alternate things will take minus. That's a simple thing. Whether it is 10 power x plus 1 or minus 1, x equal to 1, cluster size is 1. Now you just need to see whether every cluster will take plus or plus or plus or minus. That's it. Yeah, these are very important for common admission test. Cat. With this one, I complete divisibility rules. This is the fourth video. I have already made three videos. Now, next video is related to some examples for all the divisors that we have solved in, we have learned in video 1, 2, 3, 4. Once you have finished that one, you just need to solve original cat questions. That's it. Now, if you want to have a worksheet both for cat questions that is cat divisibility rules questions 
and also a worksheet based for divisibility rules you can just download it from kishcat classes facebook page thank you